Welcome to Kingdom Treasures. Have you ever wondered if cremation is acceptable for Christians? Discover what the Bible really says about cremation and resurrection. Cremation is on the rise. Experts predict that it could reach 70% in the next decade. This significant shift raises important questions about its appropriateness for Christians. To understand this trend better, it's essential to grasp the cremation process itself. The very act of cremation emphasizes our mortality, as highlighted in Genesis 3.19, For dust you are, and to dust you shall return. The increasing popularity of cremation reflects changing attitudes towards death and the afterlife. This growing trend presents a remarkable contrast to traditional burial practices, especially within Christian communities. As we look deeper into the Bible, we find that scriptural texts are foundational when considering cremation. Understanding this shift requires not just a grasp of the technical process, but also a reflection on cultural and spiritual implications. Cremation by its nature symbolizes the temporary nature of our physical form. The process, reaching temperatures up to 1600 degrees Cicero, ultimately underscores the biblical sentiment of human frailty and the inevitability of returning to the earth, enhancing the resonance of Genesis 3.19. Removing metallic objects and collecting the odorless ashes, the procedure effectively speaks to our ephemeral existence. The collected remains, devoid of their original form, visually and symbolically echo the biblical phrase, For dust you are, and to dust you shall return. Understanding the growing acceptance of cremation involves a holistic perspective that includes not only the physical aspects, but also the spiritual context. With 70% predicted to embrace cremation in the near future, both individuals and religious communities are prompted to revisit theological interpretations and personal beliefs regarding life's final transition. In the book of 1 Samuel 31, we find an instance where bodies were burned after a battle due to their condition. The Israelites retrieved the bodies of Saul and his sons, burned them, and then buried them. This practice, however, doesn't provide a clear endorsement of cremation, Rather, it was a reaction to an extraordinary situation. Yet, despite such biblical examples, burial remains a strong tradition within Christianity. The practices of patriarchs and kings in the Bible often involved burial, reflecting deep-rooted customs that signify respect for the deceased and belief in the resurrection of the body. The passage reflects God's judgment against Moab for the act of cremation of the king of Edom into lime illustrating a broader cultural understanding of cremation as a form of desecration and disrespect. Beyond the scriptural context, cultural and environmental considerations also play a significant role in this growing trend towards cremation. It is becoming increasingly popular due to its lower environmental impact compared to traditional burial, as it occupies less land and has a lesser ecological footprint. Modern societies are becoming more conscious of their ecological responsibilities, and cremation presents an alternative that aligns with these environmental values. Cultural shifts influence attitudes towards cremation, reflecting changes in beliefs and practices over time. The movement towards a more pragmatic and environmentally friendly approach to handling the dead reflects broader transformations in societal values. However, it's crucial to remember the theological implications. Christian hope is based on resurrection and eternal life, rather than the preservation of the physical body. As Jesus states in John 11:25 to 26 I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die, and whoever lives by believing in me will never die. This assurance from Jesus underscores that the Christian faith emphasizes spiritual continuity and reunion with God making the state of the physical body at death less critical to the promise of eternal life. Understanding the theological and denominational views on cremation can help provide clarity. Different Christian denominations have varying perspectives on this matter. Roman Catholicism historically opposed cremation, but has become more accepting in recent years. Protestant denominations often have a more flexible approach. Some Eastern Orthodox churches remain staunchly against it, Consulting with your pastor or priest can provide valuable insights into how your faith community views cremation and what doctrinal teachings underpin these views. 
engaging in discussions with fellow congregants can bring diverse perspectives. Reflecting on personal beliefs and seeking guidance from spiritual leaders can be instrumental in making an informed decision. Consider exploring church documents or official statements that outline your denomination's position on cremation. So will it be with the resurrection of the dead. The body that is sown is perishable, it is raised imperishable, it is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory, it is sown in weakness, it is raised in power, it is sown a natural body, it is raised a spiritual body. The Apostle Paul uses this metaphor to illustrate that our current mortal bodies are temporary and subject to decay. Nonetheless, they will be transformed into glorious, powerful, and spiritual bodies in the resurrection. Making an informed decision about cremation can bring peace of mind. It's important to emphasize that Christian hope is rooted in resurrection and eternal life, not merely in the preservation of our earthly bodies. Understanding that the essence of resurrection lies in God's power to transform and renew, rather than in the specifics of how our bodies are laid to rest, underscores the broader spiritual truths of Christianity. Seek guidance from your church and spiritual leaders about cremation. Reflect deeply on your personal beliefs and how they align with the teachings of your denomination. Consider the theological implications of resurrection and eternal life. Remember, it's not just about what happens to our physical bodies, but about our eternal hope in Christ. If you found this discussion insightful, subscribe to Kingdom Treasures for more engaging conversations on faith and contemporary issues. Share this video with others who might be facing similar questions about cremation and Christianity. Thank you for watching. May you find wisdom and peace as you navigate these important decisions.